A farm in southern Vietnam is harvesting eight tons of dragon fruit each night, generating $200,000 in revenue within just a few hours. So why are they working against the clock? And could this be the future of export-driven agriculture? Why Dragon Fruit Farms pick eight tons overnight for 200K? Dragon fruit, a succulent plant originating from the distant lands of the Americas, has now become an iconic agricultural product of Vietnam. With its mild sweetness, high vitamin C content, and eye-catching appearance, dragon fruit is favored in China, Thailand, South Korea, and many European countries. Every year, Vietnam exports hundreds of thousands of tons of dragon fruit, generating hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue for the country. Regions such as Binh Thuan, Long An, and Tien Giang, where intense sunlight and well-drained sandy soil prevail, have become ideal cradles for this plant to thrive. The harvesting of dragon fruit in many growing areas still relies heavily on manual labor. Each worker must carry pruning shears, weave through rows of plants, bend down to inspect the ripeness of each fruit, and cut it by hand. With a productivity of only about 2,000, 3,000 pounds per day, this method no longer meets the growing demands of export markets. Although some improvements have been made such as organizing night shifts, adding refrigerated transport, and on-site sorting, the pressure remains high.
Seasonal labor is as scarce as gold. Labor costs continue to rise year after year, and the harvest season is short and urgent. As labor becomes scarce and harvest windows tighten, Vietnamese farmers are not standing still. They have proactively shifted to semi-technological farming models. One of the most notable innovations is the use of specialized LED lighting systems to stimulate off-season flowering. Lighting systems like the TLT60WFR9W from Rangdong not only save energy, but also enhance fruit setting rates, improve color uniformity, and significantly increase yield. In addition, automated IoT integrated lighting control cabinets allow remote monitoring and operation maintaining stability even during power outages. Some large farms have adopted ripeness and environmental sensors along with forklifts, conveyor belts, and packaging machines reducing the entire process to just a few hours.
What seems like a simple dragon fruit actually goes through a long journey. After harvesting, the fruit is loaded onto specialized vehicles and transported to processing facilities. At the pre-processing facility, the dragon fruit is cleaned using ozonated water, then sorted by weight and color using automated sensor-based conveyor belts. Export standard fruits are packed using automated machines into foam trays or mesh bags labeled with traceability information and planting region codes. Have you tried instant noodles made from dragon fruit? In Vietnam, this fruit has been creatively transformed into a unique dish. Using a modern process, dragon fruit is washed, peeled, and its juicy pulp is extracted to produce powder, which provides a natural color and distinct flavor. The powder is then rolled and cut into noodle strands. Dragon fruit noodles not only offer a novel taste, but also serve as a creative way to promote Vietnamese agricultural products. <laughs>